Hey, what's going on guys? This is Justin at wingsound.com. If you're ever working within a big Pro Tools session with a lot of regions, you might find that it's easy to move them around and make a mistake. What I'll show you how to do is lock those regions into place so you don't have to worry about any of those mistakes. If you have any questions, comments, or ideas, you can leave one below the video or get in touch with me personally, justin at wingsound.com. First thing you wanna do is whatever region you want to lock, you wanna highlight that region. And you could either go to the regions drop down menu and choose edit lock slash unlock or time lock unlock. Or what you could do is use the key command. So on a Mac to just edit lock the region, it's command L. And as you can see, there's a little lock on it, letting you know that that region is locked. And to unlock it, just command L again. Now to time lock the region, what you wanna do is control option L. So let me zoom in. As you can see, there's the time lock. And again, the same key command to unlock it. So let's say if you do have a region locked and you try to do some editing on it, I'll show you what pops up. So I tried to move it and then you get this little box. This command will affect one or more locked regions and you could allow it if you know you want to make that change or you can choose cancel and it saves wherever that region was locked to. So it's really good, you know, when you're editing a lot and you got a lot of little regions going on to make sure you don't make any mistakes. Lock your regions. Make sure you follow Wingsound on Twitter and Facebook to stay connected to a stream of new videos as well as cool music production links. Twitter.com slash Wingsound or search for Wingsound on Facebook.